everyone welcome back it's been a while since we really posted anything i kind of threw out a few uh videos here and there this one's going to be on a recent shed test we had done we sent in six tests six sheds back in late january got back a few of the two-day tests from rgi early february we just got back our results from our full panels on two of them and as well as an albino test on another one so today we're going to go over those results. We have a surprise in one of them, caught us by off guard, uh, which was really nice. And something really weird happened in one of them. So stay tuned. I'm Daryl with Royal Temptations. Nick's on the other side of the camera. Let's take a look. The first one, we have our lavender albino. We got from a uh, friend of ours. She had, she had bought a snake before and then sold this one to us. It was given to us as lavender albino, 50% head VPI exantic. So we sent this one in, see if we can prove out that VPI. It is a beautiful snake. So, I mean, I'm going to keep this one regardless. So that's, it's, it's beautiful. But our results came back. No bueno. We have no VPI exanthic in this one. It's just a pure lavender albino, big fat chunky boy. And uh, we're happy to have him regardless. He is a beautiful snake. And, uh, he is a pet regardless. I haven't, I've never paired him to anything. I just think he's pretty, so I keep him as one of our pets. And maybe one day we'll get him into some projects. If anything, just to get the head stay bright. Lavender albino tends to brighten things. Just the head does. So that worked for us. He's, he's a pretty boy. So we're going to move on from that one. On to another one. We, uh, we got this one from the pet store where Nick works at Pet Haven in Valparaiso. We'll give them a little plug traded in some snakes got this boy he was listed as super pastel fire yellow belly pet desert ghost well since he come from the pet store obviously and we didn't know who the breeder was uh i sent a shed in to be tested and those dga dgb and those are said to be enhancers the dgc is what you want for to be head desert ghost and he came back heterozygous for dc dgc so he is het desert ghost he did prove out. We're very happy with that. Unfortunately, the way we're going to be uh, going, taking our business here, we're actually not going to need him now. So this is, uh, he will be put up for sale. If anybody's wanting to get in Desert Ghost Project, he has Fire, Yellow Belly, Super Pastel, and Guaranteed Het Desert Ghost. Put him back in his hide here. The next one, one of our breeder girls we got from Tinley she was listed as Enchi Orange Dream Pie 50% Het Albino she is the last test we got back we were waiting on this is the last one before we made this video she's getting fat she's been paired up to Lieutenant Dan uh, he is an Enchi Orange Dream Yellow Belly Het Pie so we're hoping to have some babies get Super Orange Dream Super Enchi's Pies and everyone from now on is, that comes out of this clutch will be 50% head albino because she proved out to be 100% albino using RGI genetic testing. So we did hit this one. It's a nice surprise. So we got a pied, head albino, orange dream, and she. And she's a pretty girl. Unfortunately, she's a little stubborn on eating. She only eats African softers live, which thankfully we breed. So she's doing well. All right, the next two I'm going to bring out is a mom and one of her hatchlings. We had full panels done on both. Mom is a big girl. She was, uh, we got her from the pet store. She came to us as a Enchi Pastel Champagne, possible yellow belly, and maybe carried a bell gene. Previous owner said he had produced a bell with her before. We don't know what that is, and I did not test her for bells on this one. I was looking for something else. But this is her hatchling. And I paired this with Lieutenant Dan, as I just discussed, Orange Dream, Yellow Belly, uh, Enchi, Het Pied. So I was assuming this was an Orange Dream, Enchi, Yellow Belly, Pastel, Champagne. Possible Het Pied due to the ringer. Well, I got her shed test back, and she is a super enchi. There's no orange dream in here, and 
they don't test for in the panel we don't test for uh, pastel or champagne that those aren't part of the test and i'm not sure what else she would have in there no no yellow belly no no yellow belly complex of any kind which i was kind of surprised about the real surprising thing is mom came back mom's a little dirty um no inchy now i contacted ben from rgi and uh because i obviously this is a super inchy homozygous for inchy no inchy that's impossible and uh, after speaking to Ben, he said, uh, A, he would, he would be uh, willing to retest, which was nice. It's very generous. And they have a, tr sometimes, you know, one in a hundred, one in a thousand. I'm not sure what he says. It's an anomaly. The enchi sometimes causes an issue. Well, I know mom is enchi, so I knew that when I had her. And uh, baby super enchi. What we don't know is what's making the baby, this hatchling here, so yellow. There is no orange dream in her, according to the test. And there is no orange, orange dream in mom. It's just super inchy. Pastel champagne. Everything we've looked at on Morph Market says that snake should not look like that. So uh, I showed this to Ben as well. And he said he'd like to retest this one. So that was because uh, we don't know what's in this. Now, it could be one of the bell genes that's causing this along with the super inchy. And I'm assuming there is pastel and champagne here. But... Uh, I'm no wizard when it comes, I've said many times, when it comes to ID, and, and this is the first year we did uh, any champagnes. She's a pretty snake. I was just going to sell her because she did not come back het for pied. That's the reason I was keeping her, possible het for pied. But she did not come back het for pied, so I was going to let her go. Then I said, you know, she is pretty. I'm going to just keep this one back, and I'm gonna, we're going to end up letting mom go. She's about 3,400 grams. She's actually in shed. She still looks beautiful, so she's a big, fat girl. We did not pair this year, um, but we got so many champagnes that we could probably part with mom here, and somebody else could figure out what that bell gene is. Come on, baby. And then, for our last one, this was a surprise. Now, with Tinley being tomorrow, the VIP entry tomorrow, and then Saturday being Everyone else comes in, normal people, a general admission. I want to say normal people, general admission. And then we have the auction, U.S. ARC auction, Saturday night, Tinley Park. We tend to go to all of them or most of them. Well, this next snake we bought at the Tinley Park auction, at the U.S. ARC auction, silent auction. I picked this boy up right here off the silent auction table. We only bid $106 on this snake. Now, it was listed as a chocolate pinstripe het desert ghost. Hundreds, and we, we, we kept guarding the table and whatnot, so we made sure that we won this boy. We wanted that chocolate. We had no desert ghost in our collection at the time, so this head desert ghost was going to be uh, a foundation for us, just to get it into collection sometime. Well, I sent him in, his shed test in, and it came back immediately. You know, it was one of the first ones back. And lo and behold, he is homozygous desert ghost. He is a surprise. He came back. He is a visual. Now, he is bright. We just, I'd never seen one of these. Obviously, I've never had one before. And he's really bright. Oh, what's on, boy? Uh, he's, a, he's a live eater, so he's kind of picky. But uh, chocolate desert ghost pinstripe. So this is why you go to the shows. You hang out at the, you go to the USARC auction. See what they got in the silent auction uh, tables. You go around, pick what you want. And we got lucky on this one, there's no doubt. We had bad luck with another one we bought. But this one uh, turned out, this is A-OK -okay right here. So we're going to be going to the auction tomorrow night as well. I don't know if we're going to buy anything. We're kind of full of changing direction a little bit. But we want to go see. It's a great time. So there he is. Chocolate, pinstripe, 100% head desert ghost. I mean, not... It's 100%. It's Desert Ghost, not Het. It's Desert Ghost. That's my bad. And uh, thank you, Ben. Thank you, RGI, for getting the results back. This made our day. So, I'm going to put him back in there. All right. That's it for this week or this video. Thanks again for watching. Uh, if you're at Tinley this weekend, you see me or Nick, stop by and say hi. And, uh, 
may have some stickers or something. I don't know what we're going to bring, but uh, we'll see you there. Later. Have a good one.